हेलो फ्रेंड दिस रूपेश एंड यू आर वाचिंग सीबीपी नेट्स वीडियो सीरीज ऑन स्ट्रिंग रिलेटेड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज एंड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट फाइंड द डुप्लीकेट कैरेक्टर्स इन अ स्ट्रिंग सो इफ दिस इज योर गिवन स्ट्रिंग वी हैव ए बी ए बी सी डी ई ए देन वी हैव दिस ए ए ए व्हिच इज डुप्लीकेट बी एंड बी इज डुप्लीकेट अदर देन दैट दिस सी इज जस्ट वन टाइम डी इज वन टाइम एंड ई इज वन टाइम सो योर आउटपुट शुड बी लाइक ए इज लाइक थ्री टाइम b is like two time you can swap these output like you can first print b two time and then a three time i don't care i just want you you need to print b is coming two time and a is coming three time no matter what is the order you are printing okay so you can print a first or b first doesn't matter so what should be the approach here so first of all you will have this strings first character access like zeroth index and first index and all that so what you can do you cannot compare like a with b and then a with a then you will increment the count like uh, okay a is like two time now and then you will compare this with this and this and this and this and this and lastly you will find that okay a is with e also i mean in the end also so i should increment this count and then you will start for this b and then you will compare with this guy this guy this guy this guy this guy and this guy so you see this this is going n cross n which is not good this is not allowed i mean it is allowed but they won't be happy with this and as we are discussing about the interview question series we should know that okay what is the fastest way the easiest way you can think of like maybe this is the easiest way you just pick this guy and then you compare with each and every character and then you have an book keeping like okay a is coming with three times and then you go for the next one and do the same thing till the end and you keep repeating this process in that while loop so one while loop will be here and inside another while loop so this will take so much of time and they won't be happy with this so you have to come up with a solution which is at least not n square time it can be n log n time and you can take some extra space and yeah obviously sometime what happens when you are giving interview you should ask like can i take extra space because in your mind in your thoughts you might be thinking oh no this is not good this this won't be the best solution or no 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 i'm not thinking in the right direction no you just don't think you speak out you you ask him or her like can i go like this can i go like that because i have done a lot and it helps so sometimes what happens they sometime end up telling you the key points and they don't know that and even if they they know then what's the point they only help you right because maybe they found that okay you are worthy or this question is little hard so basically you should be speaking to your guy and be vocal like he or she will be very happy to know that okay what is your thought process and you are sitting in that interview meaning you are capable of giving the interviews you you, you just won't say that okay what is duplicate meaning here <laughs> okay you 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 won't say something like that i know okay so enough talk now as i was telling you we can take extra space so basically we can use either map or unordered map i'm talking in terms of c++ now and you can find these data types in any programming language okay so that's not the problem so the idea is we will have let's let's suppose we are going for an order map because we don't want any order here i don't want you to print a first i mean a count first and then b's count no i don't want anything like that so then going for the an order map would make sense because its time complexity is uh, super cool here i mean this is the worst case time complexity and the average complexity is 1 so this is constant right average is 1 and it uses hash table to give you this I have already talked about all this like what is an order map what is map in my previous video in SCL series so if you are little confused about map or unmap you can go and watch those videos also so basically we'll go and use map i mean an order map not map because map will do some extra stuff in order to make your key sorted and we don't want that so we'll take an ordered map and the type would be character comma integer and let's say we have this map here so maps key is going to be your a okay character a and we'll just keep incrementing this count that's it and how will do that you will do this particular operation in a loop you're standing here this is your strings ith location right so this is going to be like map of string your ith location 
and then plus plus something like this and that's it you just have to do this this will create a map another map for you which will have values like okay a three times b two times c one time d one time and e one time and then you have to go for another loop on this map data structure and check if the second element meaning this is kind of a pair in your uh, another map right so this we access with dot first and this guy we access with dot second okay so you have to do this dot second to get this element and see if this is greater than one if it is then you just have to print this first guy i mean this a that's it let's see the code now so this is your code here print duplicates we'll get this string inside this we'll create another map i told you right first character and then integer so that we can have the count and this variable or map name is count actually and then we'll have a for loop to basically do this counting i told you right so initially this count is nothing so we're standing here and then i basically is pointing to this zeroth location because we are starting with the zero and then count i plus plus so which is a so it is going to be one and then we'll go ahead and then b is going to be one and then we'll go ahead and then a plus plus so whatever the value is there already with this a it will get incremented so it is like plus one and then we'll go ahead and this time b so this plus one because we're just doing this plus plus and similarly c is going to be one d is going to be one e is going to be one and then again a is there so we are not going to write a here this a is like a plus plus because it already contains this a as a key in map okay now we have this equal to three this equal to two and rest are one and then we have this for loop to iterate over this count and see i told you right if with this iterators dot second if dot second which is these values are if they are greater than one meaning we have the duplicate so if that is the case then we just print c out iterators first and the count is like this one so we'll have output like a comma count is equal to three b comma count is equal to two that's it so the important point here was this god looking data structure unordered map <laughs> and uh, i think i should go for mm, map versus unordered map video do you want that video let me know in the comment section i'll push it asap so thanks for watching guys take care bye bye and don't forget to hit the like button guys if you want to help me in any way that would be the best way <laughs> bye bye take care